outfit is creepy as shit. We are talking Fear Farm, Farm with a PH, and this one is directed by Dante Yor, and actually is filmed in a real life corn maze in America. I believe it's actually the biggest one in America. And we have the story here is we have four friends as they decide to go to this this particular kind of maze in the at least in the context of the story for something to do over the kind of like the Halloween break and. All of these four kind of friends are want to be actors, and uh, when they go there, they discover they've been selected to take part in the quote unquote VIP uh, maze in which they could win some money. So they decide to do that, but of course, this maze is filled with killers, and uh, they seem to have something specific in mind for our four friends. What will happen? Well, you'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let's talk, first of all, let's talk about what works. So there has actually been a number of these movies that have, you know, are based in these kind of like these scare parks, these scare attractions that we get in more in America. We don't really get it so much here in the UK. So it seems kind of foreign to us to a certain degree. There's probably some in the kind of the big cities, but for the most part, it's definitely an American thing. But we have seen lots of films based on them, certainly within the last kind of few years. But it's a fun concept and one that is obviously ripe for, you know, horror movie treatment. Um, I quite like the fact that the, and it might seem a small thing, but our four friends actually consists of a couple and then a brother and sister. It just makes for a slightly different dynamic to always having kind of couples and things like that. So I actually kind of quite liked the... Um, you know, the, the, the slightly different kind of relationship, maybe that that kind of pertains to, really. So that was that was kind of quite good. Some of the kind of like the masks, are, you know, are pretty good in regards to some of the, uh, the the kind of horror characters that are within this maze. And the maze itself, obviously, a real kind of maze, looks pretty impressive on the film because because it probably quite is in in real life. And you know, apparently, the actual real maze is sort of sixty acres, whilst you know. In the context of this story, it's meant to be like a hundred acres, and so you know it's pretty big, and therefore you can understand why kind of people are getting lost in it, things like this. And there's an attempt here to have some gory scenes, and there is one scene which I must say is a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, if you're a little bit squeamish, it might be a little bit of a you know one where you've got to look away. On so that, there's one in particular scene that I thought worked quite well for that. Uh, but I've got to be honest with you, I felt this movie was overall fairly underwhelming. The story is is very light. Um, and in the context of the the plot of the film, there is a reason why uh, these kind of people in the maze are hunting these, these guys. And it seems like there'd be easier ways to do it. Let me just say this. It seems that, is that they, the, the way they kind of go around in, in, in getting what they want seems overly convoluted and I, I guess in the context of the movie you're supposed to kind of forget about that but I just feel that it you know people it's because this is a destination and this is where people are going to you know people might know where they're going it doesn't really make sense that this would in any of these kind of scare attraction films really that uh, you would have killers here that would select victims in uh, in a maze, because it just seems it would be very easy to um, to basically find out what's kind of gone on, if that makes sense. But it, yeah, obviously the the movie is not asking you to think too much about it; it's just asking you to accept it. And even if you do accept that, there's things within this kind of uh, the context of the story that just didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, for example, we, we are, when our victims are, when our four sort of characters are into, you know, go into this maze, they are told that they're the ten thousandth customer, and they get to go in the VIP maze. In that case, so that means that no one else has ever got into this maze in this season. Um, now, if I were the customer, if I were the people going, I think, well, you know, I'd go in the normal maze because there's obviously there's no one in this maze. It must be crap compared to the standard maze, or it just seems a little bit. Um, too good to be true almost which of course it is 
to have a, a, a secondary maze purely made for um, whatever would happen to be the kind of the ten thousandth customer seems a little bit silly to me. The characters themselves, despite I like the fact that they are, you know, they, they, they consist of a brother and sister duo and a couple, some of the characters, in particular the brother, is beyond annoying. Um, really kind of like grating characters. And, I mean, I guess they're designed to be to a certain degree. Our kind of main protagonist, that of all of them, seems the least developed. And, uh, you know, a couple of the other characters just seem like blank you know, pieces of wood, really. There's nothing, we don't know anything really about them. So our characters, our four main protagonists, seem particularly dull, somewhat unlikable. The actual, outside of the one thing that I've talked about, the kills are pretty unspectacular, and in one instance seems downright ridiculous and drawn out and just plain silly. Um, there is a twist in the movie, but it's kind of spoilt by the title of the movie. If you kind of understand the uh, what the, the the actual title is trying to do, there it almost gives away a spoiler within the film itself. Uh, and I gotta say, the plot just seems paper thin here. It really is just a kind of very sort of basic movie in a lot of ways, with no real kind of frills. I don't think it's necessarily a bad film. It is somewhat entertaining, but I feel that you'd be, after you've watched this film, and if you've watched a couple of these other movies that have like these scare attraction style plots, this one just seems paper thin in regards to what happens within the film itself. And, uh, you know, our characters, I don't go into spoilers here, but there's not enough kind of drama what's going on here, I don't think. Uh, I've got to give this one a 4 out of 10. It falls, it falls just below average without really being a terrible movie. Just very kind of flat and unimpressive, to be honest. So not, not necessarily bad, but just, I think, disappointing. Anyway, 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.